So I've been preparing some joysticks and I thought I'd do a quick uh, video to show people how to remove the springs. Uh, these are gamepad joysticks. These were removed from uh, some old gamepad, maybe PS3 or something like this. Uh, also Xbox 360 controllers are, are a very good quality. Um, and basically what they are, are two 10k pots. So this is one pot and that's another. Here are the, the solder lugs. You can just about see them. This, this was badly removed. Be careful when you're removing them from the, the, the gamepad itself. Um, but that's it. Uh, I mean, you're basically just moving these two little pots. Uh, the problem is that there's a spring in all of these game pads, and that's not great for audio applications. So if you want to use this in a synthesizer as a modulation source, you want the stick to stay where you put it, rather than springing back into centre. So it's very easy to uh, remove the spring. Now, um, this is one, it's the same mechanism, exactly the same, but this is one I've actually bought. I'll leave a link in uh, the, the video description. And what I'm going to do is remove the spring from this right now. Uh, the way to do that is, look here, uh, you're looking for these four corner pins that are bent in, and what we've got to do is, is bend them out, essentially. So, and it's a bit tricky, so be careful not to damage yourself. So just use a little screwdriver, bend them out. So that's two then, one, two. Three. Four. So now they've all, they've all uh, been done. Uh, and you see the, the, the bottom part actually just begins to pop out of its own accord. So there we go. So there's the spring, the bottom mechanism, and this is a button that can be reused. So I'm going to leave that in because maybe in future. I want to reuse it. So there's a spring, the buy spring, and it's a matter of putting this back in. Oh, let's have a quick look at the mechanism. It's it's quite elegant actually. It's <clears throat> if you check it out, these uh, this is controlling one pot. You see, so that's the, the one direction, one of the axes, and then this little piece here controls the other pot. So you'll see how. It, uh, it just fits in like this. You put the shaft down in between. Oops. Excuse my cold. So, the shaft goes down in there and make sure to put the little notch into the pot. And there we go. So the mechanism's now working fine. And to keep it in place, I just put the cover back, put it back in, bend the corner, clips back in. <clears throat> Et voila, one joystick with no spring. When you move the stick, it stays where you put it. Excellent for modulation on synthesizers. Enjoy.